What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you stopping by for the first time, if you see something that you like during this video, please don't forget to subscribe at some point. Those of you stopping by that have been here before, welcome back to TLTG Reviews, my friends. Glad you came to see me. So today I'm bringing you five fragrances that are just doing it for me lately. Some are very new to the collection, some I've had for a little bit. Nah, eh, they're all pretty new to the collection, really. These fragrances are currently blowing me. Stay tuned. Starting right off with my scent of the day. It's a recent acquisition, niche brand, Carna Barcelona. It's Fig Man. How can I describe this one? It has such a soothing and calming effect. It's soft, it's powdery, it's soapy. It's not a skin scent when I say soft, it just has a soft smell to it. It's not an overpowering floral powder. Uh, the violet is so beautiful in this one the fig and the fig tree there's a freshness to it it's just it's such a relaxing scent oh, man it just smells so good this is not what this one surprised me this is not one i was expecting to be what it ended up being i had high hopes for it that's why i got it in the first place i really wanted it it excited me when I saw the note, note breakdown. <clears throat> it's blowing my mind since I got it. I have tested it on my arm four times now. Sprayed on my arm almost every day. And today's a full wearing. And it's just incredible. I've never seen anybody talk about it. Granted, I've never really searched YouTube for it. But I've never seen it featured in any list or anything like that. And I got to tell you, it's bright. And airy enough and light enough for a summertime wear to not get too overpowering and cloying. But has a deepness to really do spring and fall very well as well. Not a winter fragrance by any means. I don't see this piercing through the coldest of weather. But for anything remotely warm, cool, or hot, this is going to work great. And this like I said, it has just this calming and soothing effect to it when I smell it. It's just, man, 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 man. Fresh, soft, powdery floral and fig. What a strange combination that absolutely works. This is one that I strongly advise you gain a sample, get one in your possession and try it you might fall in love with this one. The fig's not overpowering. The floral aspects are not overpowering. The powder's not overpowering. It's just blended to perfection. It's, Corner Barcelona did an incredible job with Fig Man. And look at that. That's that light blue cyan type of blue. The big wood cap. The bottle presentation on Corner Barcelona is beautiful in its own right <clears throat> but the juice you can see the dent that's started to come into that yeah several sprays have left this bottle in the week that i've had it carna barcelona fig man it's currently blowing my mind <sighs> next another recent acquisition i have sprayed this on my arm three times since i got it i haven't given it a full wearing i don't know why it's incredible though This might be my favorite from the line. Galan Loam Ideal Intense. It finally restocked again at Fragrance Net. They ended up sending a gift set. I ordered just the bottle, they didn't have a picture. And I went ahead and grabbed Sport and Eau de Parfum. I completed the line. The Eau de Parfum is a new batch. It doesn't have the painted sides like all the rest of the line. Um, but this, I was expecting the Eau de Parfum to be my favorite of the three. The depth in this one. It's not heavy. This is not a heavy fragrance. It doesn't wear heavy for as heavy as the note breakdown in the blend would seem. The leather is not heavy. It's not overpowering. 
but it's buttery smooth and beautiful. The smoke is not pungent, not overpowering. It's blended in just right with the almond. And the cherry is ever so present like it is in the Eau de Parfum. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. They need to produce more bottles or distribute better in the U.S. so others can get this. This is not easy to get. So others can get this, get their nose on it, at least get the samples a lot easier to get a hold of. Because when I dabbled my toe into this line, I got a sample of the Eau de Toilette, the original, to see how I would enjoy the almond note. This thing's incredible. Oh my God. Is it good? Oh, man. This is the winter and fall version done right. It's not super strong to just pierce and project like crazy. It's going to keep a nice aura around you in the winter. I mean, you can wear this summer's night really and truly. It's not as heavy as you would think. You can absolutely get away with that and really make the cherry come out on, off of your skin in the heat. I wouldn't wear it during the day in the summer, but this is just, this is something special. It really is. Guerlain did incredible with Lintense. Lintense is my favorite in the line now. It surpassed Cologne because Cologne was, was it. Cologne, Cool, Eau de Parfum, Eau de Toilette, and Sport. Sport's different, but I do like it. But this, this is next level. I strongly advise you, if you can find a good price on this one, which a good price for this one is in the 60s. High 50s in the $60 range. That's a good price for this one because these aren't, these aren't in the 40s and 30s and all that good stuff. And they're not that easy to get because as soon as they come in, they sell out. The beauty to behold. <laughs> Galan Lom Ideal Intense. It's currently blowing my mind. Next, I had to have this in here because it sits on my desk. It's the one from the collection I have right here. It does not sit on that shelf. It sits right here on my desk so I can smell it anytime and all the time that I want. Happy Land El Gudo. I've said it before. It's very good. That apple brandy, the grape, the fruits, that sweet fruit, boozy smell. This stuff is so good, guys. This is possibly my favorite from the house. I think it's slowly starting to edge out paisley sky it was ranked number two of 17 when it's really 1a and 1b with paisley sky oh so so good <sighs> the labdanum in this one gives a light smoky quality smoky leather the labdanum in the cedar i'm telling you guys this is the this is one to try granted you have to like sweet and you have to like boozy but this is such a good fragrance from happy land studios yeah it's a little too heavy for the heat EJ doesn't really do fresh, but if you're looking for a unique, sweet, boozy fragrance that's powerful, lasts, projects, El Gudo, this stuff here, the, the label is so fitting, that purple, it gives that grape smell because fruits are listed in the notes. It doesn't specify apple or grape or, you know, lemon or bergamot, orange, any of that stuff but it smells of apple and grape is what I get from it. And it's incredible, in my opinion. I strongly advise you to try this one. You're bound to end up getting a bottle. Happy Land Studio Ogudo. Still blowing my mind. Next, the uniqueness of everything in this list <clears throat> is what's really doing it to me, I believe. And Kajal Yasmina is no different. It's a spicy, floral, elegant monster of a fragrance. Oh, when you smell it out the bottle, you get plenty of that animalic jasmine. I get a little touch of spice, but when it gets on my skin, this beautiful saffron note just comes out and stays present the whole time. Oh, the quality obviously this gorgeous presentation of the bottle irrelevant in the grand scheme of things when it comes to the smell but presentation does do a thing for me <clears throat> but the scent on this one i still can't get over 
it's so good it's so unisex and it's so spicy you know i love a spicy fragrance and i have a real love affair with florals over the last several months i have a newfound appreciation for them and this may be currently at least my favorite floral fragrance spicy floral oh it's so good it really is you got to really take it all in with the, with the ones on these this list guys at least for me these are still just blowing my mind yeah this is pricey it's expensive find yourself a decant find yourself a sample you need to try Kajal Yasmina. I think I like it more than Ohm. And Ohm's way more versatile. But this smells just so beautiful. My God. I, I know I'm talking lower than normal because this isn't a super get excited. This is just type of video. This is just, I'm, I'm still talking about these. It, it still wows me. And I hope the mic's picking up my voice clearly because I can't stress enough. If you like floral scents, if you like spicy scents, you need to try Yasmina from Kajal, and I'll leave it at that. And last, but certainly not least, it's from Sensual Obsessions. It's a new original. He's calling it Midnight Seduction. As you can see, wiped out about half of this decant that he sent. It's 3ml decant. Oh man, I'm going to spray this on my hand. Get a little bit on there. I'm running low on sprays. I actually ordered a bottle. This licorice note, it's got a sweet, seductive, boozy quality to it. It's got a little freshness in the top. An ever so light powderiness. But I'm telling you, Kevin did a great job with this one. More people need to smell this one. His blends are great. His clones, majority of them, very, very close. But some of his originals will floor you. Midnight Seduction is one of those originals. Oh, man. The performance is stellar. It's not mold-breaking beast mode, but it's bordering it. Every time I've sprayed this on my wrist or my hand like I did just now, I've gotten about eight hours to nine hours with it, which is great. More than enough for a date night because this is a great date night fragrance. Midnight Seduction was such a good name. The color of the juice was such a good color. It's dark. It screams nighttime. It screams intimate. Oh man, that licorice note is really, really present. Um, this kind of reminds me, and no, it does not smell exactly the same, Fahrenheit Parfum. The licorice note so well done in there. It reminds me of that. I get a little tinge of the aura of Fahrenheit Parfum. Think that type of scent when you think Midnight Seduction. Kudos. I can't wait for my... 15 ml to come in um, it's only a half ounce but a half ounce is plenty for me it's gonna take me a while to go through it but I don't know I might end up burning through it because I'm burning through the decant but midnight seduction from sensual obsessions may have rocketed to number one as far as my date night recommendations because it's currently blowing my mind great job Kevin It's so good. Well guys, that's five fragrances that are currently blowing my mind. Every time I smell them, they take me to a special place. They make my eyes roll. They're just doing it for me. They really are. The beauty to behold in these fragrances is second to none to my nose in my opinion currently. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. How many of these have you tried? Good Lord, you should try them. Get samples, get decants, because some of these are very expensive. Uh, Carnar Barcelona is not cheap. 
discounters. It's in that 130 range. Um, and Yasmina is in that $200 range, 230, I believe. They're not cheap, but they are incredible, incredible smells. Until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these five that we discussed here today, you give them a spray now. Man, I know you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys.